Tesla might be back in the headlines right now, but Elon Musk's other company, SpaceX, is poised to make some big news. Tonight's Demo-1 mission, this is uh, on behalf of NASA, would mark a major milestone not only for the commercial spaceflight industry, but for America as a whole. If all goes according to plan tonight, this will be the first time a commercially built spacecraft that's designed to carry humans uh, is launched into orbit and is scheduled to visit the International Space Station. It's doing so on behalf of the government. Here's why this is so noteworthy. Since the space shuttle program was retired back in 2011, the U.S. has lost the capability to send astronauts from U.S. soil into orbit. We pay Russia currently a lot of money to do that for us. So to remedy this situation, NASA awarded two contracts under a program it calls Commercial Crew, one to SpaceX for $2.6 billion to develop its Crew Dragon, and the other to Boeing for its CST-100 Starliner for $4.2 billion. Now, what makes this so noteworthy? It is a public-private partnership. Boeing and SpaceX own and operate these vehicles. NASA will essentially be leasing them out for missions. It is a very different business model than we've seen the government use in the past for space missions, and it really speaks to how crucial the private sector has become to this new space race. So, guys, the reason we're here today this test tonight, it is going to be uncrewed. That means there are not going to be any people on board. But SpaceX is the first to get this far in the process. It is considered a very critical test. Boeing is expected to do its version of this test uh, next month. In terms of the mission itself, behind me, you can see on launch pad 39A right there, it is going to be a Falcon 9 rocket that blasts off with that Crew Dragon capsule. It's going to be a 2.49 a.m. Eastern Saturday morning. And yes, I will be awake and here to watch it myself. Uh, and it is going to travel up to the International Space Station, expected to automatically dock, something we haven't seen happen before either, with the space station on Sunday and stay there until it returns back to Earth on Friday for an ocean landing. And guys, I would also just note that there is a payload on board this capsule as well, 400 pounds of cargo for the astronauts that are currently on board the space station. And there is a passenger, a mannequin equipped with sensors to be able to uh, test out the flight experience, clad in a SpaceX astronaut suit. And in perhaps now typical SpaceX fashion, they have named that astronaut or that passenger Riley in honor of the classic space-based horror movie, Alien. Back over to you. <laughs> Okay. Ripley, Morgan, uh, excuse thank me. Thank you. Ripley.